Hi everybody, hope you're all okay. Today I just wanted to discuss uh, the Labour Party, um, been as it's uh, the Labour Party conference in Liverpool, and ask the question, is it is it time to start a new party if you're from the left or you believe passionately in socialism? If you believe in proportional representation, getting away from the first past the post system, making uh, politics far more democratic? Um, they're all big massive questions. I'm not sure whether uh, it'll even be a topic for debate on the PR system at the conference. But it, again, it's a it's it's a really big issue, and for the Labour Party to um, not even really discuss it um, and have it going into the uh, Labour manifesto is a big mistake in my opinion. Um, I I'd been a member of the Labour Party for many years, and when Corbyn was um, basically expelled from the party as an MP, I, I, I came out of the Labour Party. I'd lost faith in it as far as I was concerned. It has far too much influence from uh, Mandelson and Blair, two people who shouldn't be anywhere near politics anymore after what they, they did. I mean, Mandelson was a crook, you know. Uh, Blair took us to war in Iraq, killing millions and millions of people. Should never be forgiven for it. I'll never forgive them for it anyway. Um, you look at what the Labour Party are doing uh, that's not getting any mainstream media coverage. They're expelling hundreds and hundreds of people out of the party. Anyone that seems to have any left leaning thoughts, it, it, they're like the thought police. You have anything to do with the left or you make any comments that are supporting any left ideas, you automatically seem to be getting expelled from the party anyway. So, I mean, I was sort of sitting on the fence whether we needed to have a new party and the consequences of what that would be, because it would be all very difficult to start a new party from scratch. It might not be something that works. But I find myself in a political no man's land with next to, I don't know who to vote for. I, I mean, if I had a Green candidate, I'd possibly vote for the Greens, but I don't think the Greens are ever going to be in a position to, to get into power as such. Um, that said, uh, I wouldn't be opposed to an idea of the formation of another party and maybe an amalgamation with uh, the Greens. Something like Green Labour would maybe be a, a good idea. That might be a, a good step forward. All those people, even the MPs on the left in the party, if they were to uh, have, have a negotiation with the Green Party and form some kind of coalition or, or even a, a new party, and then, the, you know, if we're not going to have a general election for two years, they could maybe start the creation of a new party that could, over the next two years, build up a bit of momentum and stand a chance of certainly making a difference and giving people like me um, somebody we really can get behind to vote for. Uh, I don't know, it's an interesting debate, it's very difficult, you're not, you're not wrong if you don't believe in starting a new party and you're, and you're hanging on and hoping that the Labour Party will eventually uh, see the error of its ways and move back towards the left as opposed to where it's going. I think the problem is the Tory party have moved that far to the right, the Labour Party just seemed to be the reserve Conservative Party that's taking up the uh, ordinary Conservatives position. That's that's what it looks like to me anyway. Uh, but in my view, I think we really need a party that represents the working class, that supports the unions, makes its headquarters in the north. It works on really levelling up for the people up north. You know, these are the th issues that we need. And yes, it's massive and it's not something you, you can take lightly. But where we are at the moment in politics, it's, I just, I just feel like we're, us on the left, we're, we're just sidelined and our voice hasn't been heard or recognised. Um, yes, if there's, if there's only a Labour candidate and a Tory candidate, I'll have to vote Labour at the general elections, it has to be. But it's it, it's more going to vote just to, 
to vote the Tories out as opposed to have any enthusiasm for the Labour Party. Um, I don't know. Anyway, whatever you, uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to to message us. Obviously, you'll have to subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you can. Do give us a like or, or, and have some comments. Let's have let's have a little bit of a debate. All right then, everybody. Take care. Thank you.